Hey guys, Bob with Refuge Medical, and today we're gonna to talk about windless tourniquets and which windless tourniquets we as Refuge Medical recommend and a little bit about the differences between the two. So we'll start with the CAT Gen 7. So this is the seventh generation of the CAT tourniquet or combat application tourniquet. Now the CAT Gen 7 is based off of a band that inside of which has a Kevlar strip. And inside of that Kevlar strip is what gives us our tightening power right here when the windlass is rotated it pulls on said kevlar strip then on the outside it's secured with hook and loop versus a tac med soft t or special operation forces tourniquet the soft t operates off of a buckle and a single strap and so it does not have the hook and loop it doesn't catch on as many things but at the same time it's a little bit more tricky to apply this to yourself versus the cat gen 7. another key difference that you're going to notice is the securing method for the windlass so the cat gen 7 has a c-clamp right here and then it has our little time tab while our soft t has a smaller c-clamp and it has a triangle lock for the windlass to fit into securing it like so another thing that i love about the soft t that the cat gen 7 doesn't have is it has a detachable buckle right here and this buckle can be detached allowing you to quickly use this as an intervention in any sort of impingement circumstance so that'd be if somebody's trapped inside of a vehicle or trapped between two different objects this can be quickly detached and then looped around secured back in and you can start to work the buckle one thing i will say that's very different between these two tourniquets is you have to train much more with a soft t to use it on yourself versus a cat gen 7. this is a very intuitive tourniquet to use on yourself Another main difference is going to be the windlass itself. The Cat Gen 7 is reinforced plastic, while on the Soft T, you have an aluminum metal uh, windlass here. Those are gonna be your main key differences. The most important thing though, is that you carry a tourniquet and you train with them. I personally carry both the Soft T and the Cat Gen 7 on me every single day. They are awesome tourniquets. They are the most trusted and most proven through the global war on terror which gives us all of the white pages and documentation behind these two tourniquets if you guys are needing a tourniquet feel free to reach out to refugemedical.com or if you're needing training on using these applications here reach out to refuge training we'd love to help you out and make sure that you're prepared for any circumstances remember carry a tourniquet and stay prepared